Slide shot, I do, buckaroos. Have a heck, are you? So I've got one here given to me by a friend. Uh, I think these are available local to me, but he he's a big hazy IPA guy, so he wanted to see my thoughts on these. Well, he gave me two. Hold on a second. Maybe. Get that sneeze stuck in there. Anyway, so he gave me the Mosaic Dry Hop of the Galaxy, but for this video, I'm just going to do the Mosaic. Mosaic Dry Hop Pseudo Soup Pale Ale, 5.8%. Showcasing the Citra and Mosaic hops for a well-balanced beer that is delicate in body with a mild bitterness in the finish. Ferocious hop aromas and citrus and mango give refreshing taste that is bright with just enough bite. Unfiltered beer sediment is normal. Go. Looks like a glass of orange juice. <laughs> Looks like a glass of orange juice, man. Anyway, slot you. Well, that's interesting. Aromas of citrus and mango. Yeah, you feel that mango right away, actually. Citrus for me, predominantly uh, uh, tangerine, little orange. Uh, you might find some grapefruit though as well. And they mentioned mango on the nose, but I'm going to add passion fruit in there. Tastes like a glass of orange juice with mango. <laughs> anyway. I digress. It, it's good. Uh, it is. Um, I'm just not as enamored with fruit flavors as as, as you others are. I think this is a well done beer. It's just not necessarily in my wheelhouse. I'm just that old school guy that remembers malt and, and likes his beer to taste like beer. However, that however is this one is done extremely well. If these are flavors and aromas you're looking for, you're going to love this one. You get those nice zest notes in the finish. It is done exquisitely well. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I like to call these brunch beers uh, because, yeah, that's what they taste like to me, having all those big fruit flavors. Hey, you have this in place of a mimosa because that's kind of what it feels like to me. Oh, man. It's growing on me, though. I tell you, the more I drink it, yeah, it's good. Um, the flavors, aromas, everything is perfect. Um, I'm going to add, I feel like you might pick up some stone fruit there in the middle. I'm getting a little hint of nectarine myself. They mentioned mango specifically, but I think you're also going to feel some other, other tropical fruit notes in there. Uh, mango, passion fruit, uh, might even pick up some pineapple, depending on your taster. Oh, mercy, mercy. The Mosaic, Mosaic Dry Hop Pseudo Soup. It's at 5.8%. Let me show you this can one more time. Uh, and I've got the unopened Galaxy. So I'm going to have this one next. And we'll share those thoughts with you as well. Uh, Sluncha, I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist. Put a drink of prayer with some all around good guy. Sluncha. All right, part two, as promised, 
Galaxy Dry Hop Pseudo Sue. 5.8% forged from the raw elements of the universe. This beer's hoppy flavor comes from the celestial alignment of both the galaxy and citra hops. Galaxy dry hops, pseudo sue dwarfs all other pale ales. Unfiltered beer. <laughs> Sentiments is normal. I don't know why I went into a cheesy announcer voice, but nevertheless, sometimes I just slip into it. They don't give you specific flavors here, aromas like the other one did. But here, let's see what we got. A lot of similarities. It's coming at you in a slightly different way. You're going to get a mix of, of uh, tropical fruit. You get a lot of tropical fruit up front. Uh, a little bit of citrus uh, as a supporting character. But... Uh, yeah, again, a mix of mango, pineapple, passion fruit, etc. All the usual suspects. A little bit of orange in there. A little more of a grapefruit note right there in the middle. Again, it tastes like a glass of juice. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, that's why I call them brunch IPAs. It tastes like I ought to be having them with some waffles. Look, I'm on record as not being a huge fan of the style, but I want to make clear that these, these beers are done extremely well. Just not everything is meant for everybody's wheelhouse. I get most younger folks really love this style. I just... I just miss, I just miss, I just miss, I just miss the old days when, when IPAs, you know, had a kind of a light amber. They had some malt to them. They were bold and brash and whacked your palate out of joint. I miss that. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with these. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. Because of what they've done here, I mean, they've got the flavors and aromas, I mean, done, done absolutely perfectly. I'm just not the guy that's looking for his beer to taste like a glass of fruit juice, and that's what I feel I've got here. Not the friend gave these to me, not that I'm going to turn them down ever. Uh, and I might even order them out upon occasion. It's just not a, they're not a go-to style for me. I've got to be in a very specific mood to want a beer like this. Uh, but, but like I said, I mean, uh, I want to make very clear that this is done exquisitely well. If these are the flavors and aromas you're looking for, nobody's doing this better. And most of us old guys have started to come to the realization that we're no longer the, we're, we're no longer the preferred demographic, right? Uh, uh, breweries aren't making beer for us anymore. They were making beer for us 20 years ago, but now we you know, we've gotten older. We still think it's about us. No, it's about those younger guys because they're drinking more beer than us old guys are. I'm definitely not putting as much down as I did 20 years ago. So it does make sense that, that that the beers are being tailored for current palates and not, not old dinosaurs like myself. So although this isn't necessarily a beer that I would go to uh, on the regular, it is certainly one that I will enjoy upon occasion because, like I said, they, they are just put together so exquisitely well. Let me show you this can one more time. Galaxy Dry Hop Pseudo Soup Pale Ale. Yeah, it's really good, man. Anyway, anyway, so there you go. I am Tony the Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist, Prolific Beer Drinker, Purveyor of Wisdom, and ah. 
And Santa goes by on a sled. <laughs> All around, good guys, launch you.